Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul. We're doing the Anomaly mission today, and uh, a little late in coming. Very sorry about that. I actually put it out yesterday, uh, yesterday evening, Friday evening, and uh, realized after a wonderful, nice, pleasant message from uh, a uh, friend of the channel that I had no video whatsoever. You'd think I would have learned how to do these things by now. Well, we're almost a year and a half later after starting these things. So we're going to do the Anomaly mission one more time. Um, as you can see, this is not my normal character. I have uh, two or three different uh, playthroughs that I can go to to do this. So I'm going to do it on this playthrough instead. Uh, which is my first original save that I started, uh, I think, about uh, close to five years ago. So here we go. We're in the, the anomaly at the Nexus. The little blue symbol above the Nexus is the indicator that says, hey, there's a mission here to do. So we're going to go ahead and get started. It's strange. They have that smoke in the background that's supposedly really far in the distance. And yet it seems to take up the symbol right there. That's pretty interesting. A little bit of a graphic glitch. So... As you probably are already aware, Skeletal Legacy, Unearth Ancient Bones, is our mission for the weekend. In this case, we're still getting the 1800 Quicksilver, but this selection, this time, and it is randomized, is I'm going to get a circuit board as well. Um, usually there's two of them, and yeah, there it is, circuit board and 347 nanites is what I'll get on this one. So let's go ahead and get started on the mission. There we go. Now I think I remember certain things regarding the mission myself. I didn't write things down like locations and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and just go through with this uh, straight. In other words, I'm not going to try to reference any of the uh, material from my last video as far as locations and stuff like that are concerned. Because I found on that video uh, a location had eight bones in it in one shot and that was just absolutely incredible. So, this automatically plops us into a system that has a planet that has ancient bones on it. Alright, where two should be the planet closest to us, this one, there it is. Alright, it's discovered by Cupati, decaying nuclear planet. So make sure you have... Of course, nuclear protection on your person. Swing around. Target planet reached. Now, you don't have to land anywhere specific or special. If you see, uh, see that? It actually brought us in on a... I don't even know what that is. Oh, it looks like a... I uh, can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. We'll find out in a moment. Wow, there's a lot of things right near here. Very interesting. Is it called a uh, transmission station, I think? No. It is called a... Okay. Observatory. There we go. Observatory. Okay. So, there's our first bone right there. 471 uh, units away. Looks like there's a couple of them there. So, we'll go ahead and get started with that one. I'm going to go ahead and, instead of jetting over there... And I don't know what kind of animals we have on this planet, so let's go ahead and scan a couple of them. Uh, long distance foliage. Yep, he's cool. He's not going to attack us. We're good. So I like to check out the animals just in case we're going to have some trouble with them. Uh, what we're going to do on this planet is we're going to go ahead and build ourselves a pilgrim. One of my favorite geo bay units. You can see I even still have bones from my last, uh, <laughs> last run through. But <laughs> unbelievable, huh? So we'll need, what, five metal plates, I believe it said. Yeah, it'll stay put in just a second. And we're going to need dihydrogen. There we go. There we go. And let's go ahead and build our geo bay. There we go. And delete the geo bay area. There we go. We're all set. Climb in. We're doing this. Wow, okay, so I've had the geo bay before. Um, this pilgrim, so obviously I've upgraded the ever-living crap out of it at one point or another. Is that the other way around? Yeah, that'll be alright. Okay, and looks like we got extra add-ons for this guy. So before we get going, we've got to mark our location. There we go. 
There we go. That way I can find it in the Pilgrim. So this is in honor of Beeblebum's official um, stranded challenge that we're going to be doing this afternoon on our live stream. I prefer the Pilgrim over the Roamer at this point, I think I've found. Um, it's not only faster, but it's a cool unit to just, you know, go through. This is one heck of a planet. Let me tell you something, man. Um, looks like we got one, two, three, four, five bones in this area. Not bad. Let's go bigger. Yeah, no puns, please. All right, I think we got all the bones uncovered. Might get some rare ones. There's one. How many do we need? Twelve? Okay, good. Seems to be the same as I did last time. If I can get over there. I'm running... Oh, because the spot where the bones used to be is a marker that's held. So you run into uh, things that aren't really there, if you will. Okay, so we're done. Uh, looks like we got another one over here. And they say there's a close one right here. All right, let's go to that one. I see that there's multiples there as well. Let's head over there. Good deal. So yeah, the Stranded Challenge is quite the challenge, having a lot of fun with it. I'll explain that later on the live stream tonight. Ah, yes, there's that big animal at the classic around here too. Six meters, those guys are. Really huge. If you like your oddball pets, that's one to get. All right. Of course, you're getting my natural morning voice today rather than my usual a little bit less uh what's the word i'm looking for i think it's rough i've got a rough voice in the mornings it's just the way it is all right looks like we only got two bones here we'll go ahead and grab them they look like regular ordinary ones that's two more so we're up to seven any more left okay some over there Again, it looks like there's only one, but we'll go ahead and take it, because we found it. And a lot faster getting there with Exocraft. Of all the Exocraft, the Pilgrim is the fastest, we've learned. Colossus, I believe, is the slowest. Possibly Nomad might be slower, I don't know. Um, though Nomad can go over water very easily. A lot easier than any of the other Exocraft. The other Exocraft have a lot of trouble with water. And you get some good air on the uh, Pilgrim. <laughs> All right. Here, let's see. Looks like we only got the one. Okay. Let's go ahead and boost that radiation protection. There we go. Look at those animals. I mean, really. Look at the size of that thing. Yeah. Whew. Big guys. They are big. They don't attack, so you can get pretty close to them. I mean, that's a pretty big dude, isn't he? Wow. All right. Where's our next set of bones? We got four more to go, right? Nope, there they are. Again, this looks like a multi-bone site, so we can get four more is what we need. Fairly easy run-through of the Anomaly mission, so this will be a pretty quick one, folks. Another thing about these Exocraft, they go right through everything. They just plow right through it. Just about everything. There are certain things they won't go through. But I've, I've found that they go through uh, broken machinery as well. They'll, they'll just destroy it if you come across it. And same thing with the Knowledge Stones. They'll... They used to just bounce right off of them. Now they'll destroy them. I don't know what happened, but that's new. Uh, looks like two bones here, so we'll have to go for one more site at least. One and two. There we go. Get out of our hole and take a look. The fortunate part is, looks like we've got bones nearby. Looks like there's two over here and there's more over there as well. So, So this planet seems to be very rich in bones. It doesn't seem to have a problem at all. Oof, right over that hill. See like this broken machinery down here? Right through it. Destroyed it. Gone. And that never used to happen. It used to be it used to bounce off of those. 
There we go. Looks like we got, what, three? Yeah, looks like we got three here. One, two, and three. We'll grab all three, even though we've only got two more to go. Let's just grab them all. One, two, and this one looks special. Yep, Curious Bones. So we'll get a special one out of that one. So we got three. All right, good deal. Okay, so it wants us to go back. So we're going to just take this to a flat area real quick. Right over here looks good. And let's pull in our ship. There we go. I'm not sure what all the bouncing around is. Like something's making us bounce. It's weird. I don't see anything going on. Real, real kind of a nice looking area though. Too bad it's uh, flooded with radiation, huh? <laughs> All right, we're in our ship. Go ahead and pull off the planet, do a quick scan, and it should tell us where we're going. Over there, okay. Uh, where'd it go? That's it, communication station, minute away. All right, good deal, good deal. So, oh, it just dropped to... No, oh, that's the communication station. Okay, Polo's contact is only about 20 seconds away, so... Here we are. They're always pretty close by. And it looks like no battles with Sentinels, nothing like that. Uh, Sentinels on this planet are pretty sparse. So you don't have to worry about that this time around. Alright, here we are. Great Envoy Biffer. He asks no questions, but simply holds out a hand expectantly. I get the sense of an... Here's that word again. I've always had trouble with this one. Anonymized donation from Specialist Polo must be behind their willingness to assist. So we're going to show the samples. Trade Envoy Biffer runs their eager hands over a number of the samples before selecting one to scan. Reluctantly returning the bones, they transmit the scan data directly into my suit, ready to deliver to the Nexus. And that's it. We're done. All we need to do is head back to the Nexus and deliver the information, and we're all set. Off we go. All right. There we go. Pulling the anomaly. Watch out for frigates and freighters popping in. And we're into the anomaly. One of these days, I will remember to set these things up. All right. Oh, halfway decent parking space for once. Randomized parking. Always starts with the furthest one out, though. <laughs> All right, here we are. Back to the anomaly. And the Nexus. So we turn in our mission. We're going to complete that, and we're done. And that should take care of it. So you'll see that the mission goes away. We do have three other missions we could do for some more. Uh, but we got our rewards. We've got some uh, more Quicksilver in our coffers, if you will. Uh, so let's head over here and check out the Quicksilver vendor. I just want to show you real quick that there are no extra things available right now. The community missions are not available. Um, for some reason, there has not been any communication uh, community missions in a long time you'll see that as exploration guide so no clue what's going on it's very very odd it's like almost like these missions have disappeared and nobody knows really why that is so very strange um this main save you'll notice that i had the atlas mission in here um i've already done the atlas mission i don't know what is happening uh, or why that is but um, you can see I've got a star seed and I've got the remembrance. So I've already gone through all the Atlas seeds and ended up in multiple different galaxies. So got no clue why it keeps popping up, but that was one of the glitches in the system here. So anyway, moving on. That is an end to our anomaly mission. And we head back over to the ship. And for those of you who are wondering and have never done an anomaly mission before, once you're done with the anomaly mission, if you jump in your ship and you head back out the exit, it will bring you right back to the system you started at. So if you're worried about doing the Anomaly mission and losing the system you were at last, you don't have anything to worry about. Okay?
All right, good deal. Now we're right around the 15 minute mark, so I want to go ahead and just briefly uh, drop some information here. And well, it's not really information. I want to thank all my subscribers. I want to thank all the people who have been watching this channel, especially um, those who saw my last post. Uh, not the latest one, the one right before that, in regards to my uh, father-in-law passing away in, in real life, of course. Um, passed away last Saturday, kind of suddenly, in the afternoon, and um, yeah, everything pretty much went to uh, went to crap after that for a few days. Um, we've had some rough times with it. Um, my wife uh, is recovering from the the grief, of course, it's going to be a long process for all of us, uh, especially since uh, her, her mom passed away about 10 years ago, and now her dad has uh, passed away um, uh, almost 90 years old. I mean, he lived a really full life, and he really gave us a lot of joy in our lives, and uh, we're going to miss him terribly. Uh, but uh, A lot of regrets, but at the same time, it was so many good memories, so many good memories. So we... I've been doing a, a weekly, at least weekly, or once or twice a week, we get together as a family and discuss it, just so we can, uh, you know, work our way through the grieving process. Um, so I want to thank you all for your kind comments to the posts that I made. Uh, they Even those posts really helped, and my wife has been really encouraged by that as well. So thank you so, so much to every one of you. It's from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you so much. So we're going to leave this video here. We will see you tonight, hopefully, at our uh, live stream. That will be at, that's again, today's date is February 3rd, and it will be at around 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, give or take. Um, hopefully, hopefully more if, right, right on the money. We'll see what happens. I uh, try to get the timing on those done right, and I can't always get it right. But 4.15 Eastern Time, we're going to be doing the Stranded Challenge from Beeble Bum. And again, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate all you guys have done, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.